you see that? It looked like something coming in from the right here in front of me, like right here. If you can see, turn your camera light off, maybe you can see it better. Hang on. I can't I'll have to stop it. Uh, uh, looked like something just flew in front of us. Hang on. Like there's no no way of telling. It just looked like something flew and flew in front of us. Oh, oh, oh my God! God. Hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Footprint. Footprint. Come here, look. Driving down here uh, a week later after the uh, tree break falls about 30 yards ahead of us and uh, it gets your adrenaline going. They want you out here every week, so let's get on out here and uh, look at this. Yeah, we're trying to get back on a weekly basis with hunts and bring you guys and gals some really good content on our YouTube channel. Also, if you like this video, like what we do, and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that bell notification so you can be up to date on all of our upcoming videos. And if you think you've hit the bell button, go back, hit the bell button again. If it unbells you, hit it and make it bell you again so you'll get these notifications. So... If you watched the last video, we're back at the little house on the hill down towards the end of the road at the cabin. Um, this is where the rock pile is stacked on the right side of the house if you're facing it. And this is also where the groomsmen from that one wedding party yeah. just got scared crapless and ran up here with all their clothes and shoes on and jumped in the bed, mud and gravel and dirt and everything in the house. Um, Apparently, the story goes that they heard something growling at them. Heard something aggressively. growling aggressively and mm -hmm. charging at them. And mm -hmm. just show them the uh, the hill that they run up. So they, they saw this last week, the up part where David was talking to Rex. But if you guys look down in here, this is nothing but woods surrounding us on all of our hunts. And now you know, like, this is literally one way in, one way out. This is a one-way street. So just hang on. We're going to try to give some knocks and uh, let's go. Viewers at home, just try to keep a lookout through the woods. Maybe we may see some movement. Maybe not. There was a knockback tape. That's what? To the way I'm painting on this camera. So while Tate and I were standing here, we're listening to the knocks just now. All of you heard that. Um, it sounded maybe the camera may not have picked it up, but it sounded like while Tate was giving those knocks off in the distance, there was what could have been a knockback. Not 100% sure, but it could have been. We've noticed something that could be or could not be a new structure. Maybe it's actually getting brave, bringing up a structure. But if you guys and gals look right here, you see this could be natural. It could not be natural. So everyone, if you look here, this tree, this tree, this tree are all going up to the same point. What's the odds of two trees falling to the exact same point? It looks like a pre, 
like a uh, uh, getting ready for a structure of some sort. There's only people here so much out of the year. Uh, we used to always hear stuff up in here and we could never come up here because the house was up here and we didn't want to bother the people that was actually living on the property. But definitely something for us to keep an eye out on. Could this be a Bigfoot tree structure? Who knows? Could be natural, but it's really odd how it all goes to a point. And it all goes to a point perfectly on a tree that doesn't look like it's even supposed to be standing up. So to give a better in-depth view of what we think may be a tree structure here, should start up there. Yeah. Should start about right there. And then if you just look, it just it's perfect right here. There's three trees that cross each other in the one point right there. And it looks like it's either a big X formation. That's mm -hmm. what it could be. It could be an X formation. Just exactly what we just built up there. Who knows? Also, look at this one down here. It could have grown like that or weather the boat. Yeah, could have done it to it, but look how that one's bent. It's just coincidence. When we when we get in the woods like this and look at these type of possible structures, you always try to debunk them, but then you always say, there's a big coincidence here, isn't there? And people need to actually check up in the woods for it. Check up in the trees, because we're not always looking up in the trees. Check up in the trees on these hunt videos, because the tree fall the other night, we would have... We always normally look up in the trees, but we weren't looking at the time. And whatever it was was shaking the tree, it snapped and took off. And then, for instance, we're talking about how you debunk tree structures. Like over here, to me, you know, Rex and his men have probably worked on this area and, and cut down, knocked down trees before. But over there, that looks more like natural. a... That looks natural to me. Like that yep. doesn't look suspicious because... You know, you look around the area, there's nothing else really there that says this is kind of odd. Now, we could be wrong on this one over here, but then again, you start looking, you're like, this is right next to the trail, and look just how much lean is on those trees, trees, and look what look what it's holding on to. It's not holding on to much right there. So the force of the tree falling would have probably broken that tree in half and fell down with it. All right, so we're back over here at the corner of the house where the rock pile was placed, and by the looks of things, everything looks the same. I don't know what that is. See, that could have just blown up onto the actual rocks, and, and people, other yeah. groups may have used that as evidence. That was just blown up debris. Yeah, that's why I just completely, quickly discounted it, threw it off to the side. Nothing really to see there. Um, yeah, the rocks are the same. If you guys and gals can tell, this rock right here obviously has something chipped out of it. And as Tate, like, Tate and me were in the woods probably a year and a half ago, two years ago almost, and we found something that we called an, 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 uh, a Bigfoot tool. And you can look back on one of our old videos, and the tool, we'll have to find that rock. I don't know if we still have it, but the tool actually looks like it would be a perfect fit for this and now we have the other piece so if we can find that rock we definitely need to oh i see what you see if they connect see if That's they connect idea. you have you still do you have it i have to look in one of my old bags you know that's the one we that's one was smashing that night the, the smashing the knife. Yep, yep we try to we take the we cut the camera off we're trying to move to the next location and you hear it So it's knocking back to take three in the location of where the tree fell. So here's the location last week that scared the bejesus out of us. Definitely scared Tate. Um, we apologize for any type of words that we use in the excitement, but the, the excitement you will say stuff you wouldn't think your mama would say and and, and it's it's insane but i'm going to try a call right here for the first time on camera i think i've ever tried a bigfoot call but let's give this a try <laughs> bear with me and uh let's hopefully we get something back because i would love for another tree to fall out
Bigfoot call. That's why you don't smoke cigarettes, kids. Never smoked a day in my life. Long time viewers of the channel, you know how we love to bait Bigfoot. So I got a handful of Smarty Packs in here. And I'm going to place, not litter, place these Smarty Packs in various areas around the property where, you know, elements or animals couldn't necessarily get a hold of them and destroy them. And let's see if um, we can lose any of them. So, Taylor, you keep this in mind too, where they're at, Mark, and everything. Um, oh, you're going to put the whole pack? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't guess I'd interfere with any of his parties or anything. No. So, maybe, well... What about... Okay, that one's wedged in there good. Oh, you've got a couple packs. Yeah, i got packs. Okay. I'm going to put more in the So here's one, and it's a below the the natural brake twist. The, the, blur, the brake twist that we debunked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I say we go put one on top of one of these altars. Let's go put one on the one that David broke his hand on. Footprint! Print. Come here and look. Small. Um, still my shoe size, but uh, it's almost like a hand paw print or like a a, a a knuckle print. It looks like a left foot to me. One, two, three, four, five toes. Let's backtrack this way. Here's the left foot. Right there, but it's like it's look bowed. how bowed it is. Can you make an indention in that little pole over there? It's almost like it come out of. Well, let's see. All right, I'm gonna try to indent this here. Don't look at my nasty foot. Okay. I'm putting all my weight on it. Okay. So your toes bunched it up, but those toes yeah, bunched how, it up. Look how... Uh, and you know what's crazy? We walked right over it and didn't even notice it the last time. That's my foot. And then, yeah, yours have a That's human my left shape, foot. obviously. Yeah. And then those are just gigantic toes. But you know what? There's always just one. Well, that's why they're hide and seek's reigning champion. Um, I was gonna say real quick, from the look of this, what, which I believe to be a footprint. If you look at mine and the weight distribution, I put basically the whole, you know, flat-footed sole and heel and everything on my foot, all my weight on that foot. That's the kind of indention it made. Naturally, these Bigfoot are either heavier than us, taller than us, what have you. They're going to flatten the ground more, as we've seen on our previous footprints. Yes. This did not use all of its weight. This thing was walking on its toes, or basically what I'm saying is it arched and stepped. So it looks like it was walking right here, and then the, this left foot just happened to catch the sand. When it caught, it just hit, and as quickly, simultaneously as it hit, it went like this, toes up, made that deep addition with the toe area, and stepped on. So it could be... Boom. 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 Where I just ran through here could be the trail that it took. So bam, 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 bam. But it's taller than me. And we're just stopping by at the rock pile we found last week on the deck slash pier next to the river. And everything looks the same. 
and it's still standing. So, long time viewers, this is where it all started. This is where the rock come crashing through the woods and made me a believer. And this is site number one gifting. I don't see anything new, which we haven't been here in several months, like gifting back wise. Only thing I could see that was new is maybe this little stick is stuck up in there. There's the jar got smashed. That was popcorn or pickles? Popcorn. Okay. In a pickle jar. Well, we are going to add something new to it. Pack of Smarties. Let's create a scent. I think, honestly, the way that people say they love sweets, I would say Bigfoot loves Smarties. Oh, yeah. Glow stick. Yeah, the one was carried all the way down to the. Oh yeah, break them up. As you can see, Tate has actually oh, he bent right down in there. Tate has actually scraped the Smarty dust onto the rocks, so something may be licking the rocks. We might have some Bigfoot DNA. <laughs> Remember, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, uh, SW Squatch Watchers. Yep, there's an SW. Subscribe to Squatch Watchers. We do this for the people that aren't able to get out and do this on their own. And we love it. We love our community too. Oh, yeah. Squatch Watcher Bigfoot community is few, but we're strong. Oh, yeah, we are strong. And we all stick together. Absolutely. That's what I love about it. We're up here now. To where the pebble was thrown at us last week you can tell it's getting a little darker uh the, the the camera shows no justice to how really how dark it is out here right now right down here at this area there's a pack of crackers lodged on the rocks and the crackers are gone so something took the crackers the whole pack a whole pack of uh six pack peanut butter crackers this is where he had them and we have it on video i believe that's where they were. They were lodged in between that rock and that log. And they're gone. Something picked them up. Like I said, <laughs> the crackers are gone. You hear that? Remember what happened last time we heard that noise? That's almost like the same sound. That's the same sound. So it's a wrapper and all. Uh oh. Found a piece of wrapper. Did you? I found a piece of wrapper. Something tore into them, took them, tore into them, and ate them. Look at that. Last week to where we actually had something tossed back at us. So we've got two rocks now. I'm gonna throw one that way and one that way immediately after each other. So I'm gonna give it a try. One particular sound or call we hear and I think others around the world have heard as you know there's only two species in the world that can do octave high pitch and low pitch they can change their octave levels on their voices and that's Ape. apes primates and humans and us being out in the woods no humans around except for us we hear what sounds like a dog. The root root. Yeah. It's pretty close. That's the root root. They're all around us. You hear a dog in the background, but you hear the... 
And mind you, everyone, let me fish my story real quick while we're hearing this. That sound we're hearing, it sounds like a dog, but if you listen, the octaves will change sometimes. And also, we're in the middle of South Mountain area. There's no people living around here. We heard it in that direction and then over here surrounding us. And I don't think people let their dogs release in South Mountain and just run around in the middle of the night. Okay, shine your light right through there. Look, go, go, go to your right, to your right. Look, wait, back, back, right there. That's an X formation. Tree bend? That's a tree bend into an X. Look, that's that's the tree that's going into the X. Oh, it is. You see it? So the I'm tree. Watch, follow my okay. Bent down into the X. I see that. You hear that, viewers? Viewers at home. That's getting a little scary. There's a lot of them out here. I just hope. After our hunt with the tree branch falling right in front of us, I'm gonna start looking up now. Yeah. Some viewers have been commenting on our last few videos and I hear you loud and clear and I'm working on it. I'm gonna get us a huge, huge spotlight boat light. That way we can light the woods in situations like this. Did you see that? It looked like something coming in from the Right here in front of me, like right here. If you can see, turn your camera light off, maybe you can see it better. Hang on. I can't have to stop it. Uh, uh, look like something just flew in front of us. Hang on, like there's no no way of telling. It just looked like something flew and flew in front of us. Oh, oh, oh my god. god! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where'd that hit? Where'd that hit? So I can hit the top of the cart. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me put this thing in there. Yeah, let's go. Park it, park it. Dude, this is right here. It's coming out the trail. There's a rock on top. You see it? I thought I saw something fly across. And then, bam, another one. We got to get David back out here with us. Something hit the cart. Did you think you heard something before we saw it? Well, see, I thought I saw something fly across, right? And I hoped it got on camera, but it looked like so something. you think it threw two rocks? I think something threw, that's the only reason I stopped. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It had to come from this direction. I'm seeing stuff moving out of left or right. Uh, uh, and viewers got, a, it wasn't. So it looked like something flew in front of, oh my gosh, I'm shaking. It looked like something flew in front of the uh, the golf cart, so I stopped, right? And then we hear the loud <laughs> when it hit. But that come flying from outside the woods. We got to hit it next week for sure. Oh. <sighs> Two, two weeks in a row, viewers and people at home, two weeks in a row, we've had either the tree branch broke and then when we're leaving, something hits the golf cart with a rock or some sort of, it may have, David's been hit with a dirt claw before, just never caught on camera. Your eyes are watering, bro. I'm just, uh, <laughs> I don't know what the word is to describe uh, and how I feel right now. All I can say is, you see a rock I'm still shaking kind of. It's not on top. It's not unknown for it, something to throw stuff. 
All I can say is, David, brother, you missed out on this one again. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Any last words? Viewers, we just had a rock thrown at us. We're back full swing. Get squatchy. And we'll see you next time.